I was the former XXW Ultimate Champion before Dratsag stripped it away from me. I'm hoping to get back in the ring soon, and hopefully my title back as well. I hope everyone enjoyed last week's Stabfest. I have to give props to Greg Huffman, even though he abused his power and used the weapon he still beat Gibber and is only the second man to ever do it. Scooby, now there's a guy I wanna talk about, a fellow martial arts expert. I'd like to have a match with him one day, and hopefully, after revenge, it will be for the chaotic title. I mean, did you see him destroy Bobby last week? Bobby, a friend of Sab's, is just a little bitch, and I'm glad Scooby fucked his shit up. I mean, seriously. Bobby. Welcome to XXW Sunday Step Fest. This is Jack Hoffman, and I'm back. I didn't bring Dan with me, though. That's okay, because I like doing so. First come out, of course, is the tournament finals here in XXW. It's the Pimpin' Ninja Spooty. And we'll see what he has in store here for a mock Of course, Spooty is undefeated in XXW. Uh, he did beat Bobby, but it was an upset win. So let's see if he can pull another upset here over Mockery. I really like Spooky so. mm, I guess I, I, you could say I'm rooting for this guy. Here comes Mockery. First ever XXW Chaotic Champion. Next XXW. He was awarded that title before, sometime before Genesis. His record, I can't really, I think he's about 4-3 or, or something, so he's about even though. I think he's a little bit ahead, though. So, Spooty's going to have to watch out, but Spooty actually has a superior record, but he doesn't have the experience that Mark Red does. Oh, Mark Red starts off with a big, big boot to the face. Well, that was unnecessary. Big, big boot. He gets that point there. Oh, he misses with that one, and Spooty comes back. Shot. Shops that son of a bitch down. the back. Just drops Mark Red. He's showing some power here tonight, man. Re reverses out of a grapple here. Uh, what was that? Forearm to the back or something look like there? Drops Mark Red again, man. He's just showing some power. I don't know what... Of course, 
Booty has some martial arts background, so. Oh, but Mockridge has the power advantage, as you see there, with that one house in the center. Misses the elbow drop, though. That's going to cost him. And so here goes Spooty, goes up top rope. Oh, but gets thrown off. Spooty, not really a high flyer, but he's a small guy, and he can take to the air when he has to. Oh, but he looks like Marco was going for something that time, but uh, didn't get it. So Spooty takes the advantage here. Puts him in a tree of woe and chokes him with a foot. Of course, uh, oh, but Spooty comes back with European uppercut, I believe is what that's called. Comes back with some, oh, but there's Mark Red's bicycle kick right there. Signature move. Throws him to the tire buckle. Looks like he's going for some punches here. Gets in three of them. Throws him to the other side. So, yeah, uh, apparently Herb City and Bobby are having problems now. What we saw from the house show footage, and uh, Bobby likes to start all kinds of problems with everybody. He's, he broke neighbor's arm one day, and he, uh, what, what, what else can I remember that happened? Oh, yeah, and he hit loaf in the nuts a bunch of times, I mean, uh, then he got dq for that, so. Of course, on EWA now, he's got a fight. Well, I don't know that later. Uh, what, I don't know what the hell happened there, but Mark Ray's coming up with some punches. Oh, just clobbers him down. Drops him. Showing the power advantage that Mark Red has right there. Goes for an early pin. I don't know if he's going to be able to get this, though. Only a one can. Of course, Sweetie's going to have to watch out because we know Mark Red's it. also, like Nibber, it has a lot of, uh, able to take a lot of pain durability. He kicked out of, uh, he's the only guy that ever kicked out of the Devo driver. And he kicked out of the No Joke in one second. This, he, all he got was a one count and he kicked out of it, so. He's a strong guy. I don't know. I don't know if Spooty's going to be able to put him I mean, he can try to hit the motherfucker, but I don't know if he's going to be able to pin him with it. Oh, looks like he's going for the legs here, which is a smart idea, so he doesn't get hit with any more of those bicycle kicks. Hits a figure four and some elbow drops to the leg. Seems like he's still working. Good strategy by Spooty here. I didn't know if he'd have any uh, strategy considering how much of a work he is, but it looks like he's got some plans for Mark Red here. I don't know how he's going to beat him, though. Let's see what he's got planned. Is he... He just hit the motherfucker. This, it could be over right here. Let's see if, if this is off. One. Oh, my God. Mark Red just kicked out after a one count. Oh, Spooty levels the referee. The referees are strong in XXW. He stands right back up. Looks like Mark Red's going for uh, uh, something out of uh, Saxon's book right there. And he's going top rope. Oh, doesn't get very much height, though. It looks like he landed right on the knee of Spooty. And he covers. I don't think he, uh, <laughs> a knee splash is going to get much of a pin. And he doesn't. doesn't even get a one. He tries for a running splash this time. Completely blows it. Oh, a rolling sent on by Spooty there. Looks like he's going back top row. It didn't, it's cost him last time. Let's see if he can do it tonight. Oh my god. Massive senton bomb off the top right there. And he covers. This This could be it. A motherfucker and a senton. Oh shit. He kicked out after a one count. Man. Mark Red's a powerful guy. Looks like Spoo's trying to go for something but having problems getting it. And Mark Red goes for... Mark 5. He just hit the Mark 5. This very well could be over right here, folks. Pulls him to the center of the ring, so he can't get a rope break. So, and that's game. Good game, Spooty. GG. But, it's over. GG, no ring, motherfucker. Looks like Mark Red's going to the, going to face Niber at, uh, Revenge. Uh, funny thing, it looks like, uh, Dratz, uh, it's funny, because he's the, uh, Look, well, Nibber's got a match right here, but I was about to say, yeah, Dreadsub is the first ever Ultimate Champion. He's facing Wobbles. And now Mocker is the first ever uh, Chaotic ch uh, Champion. He's fighting uh, Nibor. So it looks like it's going to be Original Champions versus former, or current, what? It looks like they're having a face-off. Mocker has come back from his match. Nibor's here. They're taunting each other. Nibor, of course, has a few inches on it. 
Marker. But Marker is still a pretty strong guy, so. And it's gonna be a good match. Of course, Marker hasn't revealed what match he wants yet. He's gotta pick a match. And apparently, oh, I hear we should get word of what that match will be later tonight. Probably after this match. I believe we're supposed to have a review. Oh my god, it's Jeffrey Dahmer. I wasn't even paying attention. This is Jeffrey Dahmer. I should have known it was going to be him. He, he's a former... He's in the old XXW. Of course, he beat Mark Red. I, kind of ironic there. I guess that's a good opponent, though. So we'll see what... Nyborn and uh, Jeffrey Dahmer have here. Of course, if Jeffrey Dahmer was able to beat Niber here tonight, man, that'd be a major upset. We might have, they might have to schedule a triple threat for revenge. Oh, but Niber just shows power and comes, with, comes straight at Jeffrey Dahmer with all he has. Probably sending a message to uh, Mark Red. I guess it would look bad for Mark Red if uh, Niber can beat this guy, which Mark Red couldn't even beat. No pun intended, but I think Mark Red might want some revenge on Jeffrey Dahmer. So if this ma if it did turn into a triple threat match, it revenge, you know, it'd be pretty fitting. Oh, but doesn't, looks like Nyber is capitalizing the start, man. Just taking complete control of this match. Not even let, getting Jeffrey in the offense at all. Jeff Donner. Jeffy Donner. Jeffrey Donner, I gotta say, he's my favorite serial killer, man. He kicked Ted Bundy's ass in the Ed Game. John Wayne Gason. He's the best, man. And that's why he's an XXW. Of course, I didn't get to see too many old XXW shows, but I did get to see him face a few guys in the old XXW. I know he had a good match with Warren, I believe. But you guys don't know who that is, so. Oh, but it looks like uh, Nyber's going for a chokeslam here. Holy shit, but Jeffrey Dahmer rolls out and throws Nibber into a hip toss. That was a good move there. Looks like he's going to try to get an early pinfall, which might have been a smart move, but it doesn't. He's not able to get it. Oh, just chokes him down. He just takes Nibber off his feet with one hand. That's that's a lot of power. Of course, Jeffrey Dahmer was a uh, main eventer in the old XXW, so he should be able to compete with these guys. That's why he was able to beat someone... The size and strength of Mocker. So now Jeffrey Dahmer looks like he's starting to take some offense here. Taking control of the match. Still, Mocker or Niber has dished out the most punishment tonight, but Jeffrey Dahmer can have a comeback right here. Oh, looks like he's setting up for a neck breaker. He might be focusing on the head, trying to. Do I don't even know what he's doing, man. I don't know if he just told Nibber to suck it or if he was just dancing or what he was doing. Nibber's, oh, but he just flies off the rope and catches him with a flying. Okay. Now I don't even know what the hell he's doing. He's just going to whack her. He's a, he's a serial killer, what do you expect? You know? Going to that arm, which I don't... Even though Nibber had that arm broken like years ago, I don't think that's a smart move because Nibber recovers really quickly. I guess he could be trying to take out the choke slam, but that was his left arm, so, and you never really seen the choke slam with his left arm, so I don't think that was such a great idea. Alright, back slam. Remember the rush out of the power ball. See, he's gotta he's gotta be thinking. You don't really want to work submissions on Marco. He's not gonna attack that. You really just need this just full force on this guy. Power slams, flying attacks, take him off his feet, stuff like that. Oh, it looks like uh, Niber's going for his signature uh, walk on the ropes, which is still from The Undertaker. That'd be a good match, Niber versus The Undertaker. If we ever have a WWE versus XXW pay-per-view or show or match or something, that'd be a good match to watch. Niber, of course, most people associate him with Kane, but to me, he has more qualities that are fitting of The Undertaker. He's like the great call A, The Undertaker, and Kane all mixed in the one. Oh, another one. The guy's stronger than he looks, and this guy looks strong, so that should give you an idea of how strong Niber is. I mean, look at this. He's just dominating this guy that Mark Red couldn't beat. Of course, Mark Red did kick out of the uh, room 213, but Mark Red's been known to kick out a lot of finishers lately. He's just 
takes the trademark moves and he's one of the few that can kick out of some big moves. Hell, even Niver hasn't kicked out of his own finishing moves. Waffles put him in it and he couldn't kick out, so. Marker has done something even Niver hasn't done. Kicked out the Devo driver. Oh, it looks like Jeffrey Dahmer's coming back or something. Of course, that was at Guide in 2006, which is ironically also when Eddie Guerrero died at the hands of Bobby. And ever since then, Bobby's been known to kill people in the EWA, so. Uh oh, he looks like he's going for the Devo driver. I'm not gonna lie, it's over from the Niver pins. This is over. It's game over. He's not gonna pull a mock red. Great. Surprise, surprise. Who didn't see that one coming? Still a pretty good match though, having Jeffrey Dahmer versus Niver. I'm glad we had it. It's like an old XXW versus current XXW match right there. And I like when we mix in some old XXW. What that? Mock is outside the ring. Uh oh, we could have a confrontation right here before revenge. Oh, but he just bicycle kicks uh, Jeffrey Dahmer down. Uh oh, looks like he's setting up for the Mach 5 here. Bam! He just hit that motherfucker. Well, that's booty, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that motherfucker. Technically, he's a dead person, fucker. Anyway, uh, back to the point. Is uh, Now they're having a confrontation here, but I, I can see what happened there. He wanted to get some revenge on Jeffrey Dahmer. And they're having to stare down, but they're not starting anything. Oh, and Marco just takes down Jeffrey Dahmer one more time just for shooting giggles. That's a hoot and a holler right there. Oh, here's our revenge run down. Apparently, word is, I just got word on matches, Herb C will be facing Spooty, which, which is weird because I figured he would be facing Bobby, but that's the match. And then we have our Losers Fired Battle Royal coming out with Sammy, M-Man, uh, Saxon. Who else is in it? Low Legacy, that's right. Those are four men for this, and who, three men are going to get fired at Revenge. It's the return of it. This is almost a Revenge of the Battle Royal, no pun intended. Well, actually, the pun was intended to be the pun. Anyway, on to our third match will be Miffin versus Austin, or Hothead as we know him in XXW, in the final encounter, too. After this match, they will never be able to face each other again in XXW. Oh, Neo Jason versus the Great D. Great D, of course. Hasn't been able to win due to Neo Jason. And he's been upset and all that. And Neo Jason was first got to pin him. Anyway, on to the next match. Mock Red versus Nibor. Now I just got word this will be a last man standing match. A match that Nibor has never had, just as Mark Red said. And then on to our final main event. It will be Dratzep versus Dr. Waffles. Dr. Waffles is the ultimate champion. And this match will be for the ultimate championship. This will be a huge match I'm looking forward to. And it looks like, oh yeah, I forgot to say tonight. Because of the problems, Backstabbeth is going 2 on 1 versus Dr. Waffles. And here we go. Dr. Uh, Bobby and Dress are coming out together for the first time in XXW history. Something they've done in EWA, but never done in XXW. And they're doing it every night. And they're going to take on Waffles. Of course, they did face a come out when uh, wrestle as a team back at uh, the tri EWA tribute show. When uh, they took on Waffles and mystery opponent Neo Jason. Now Waffles is a short one guy, so. Waffles better have all his powers ready, man, because this is going to be a, a one hell of a challenge for Waffles. It's not. Oh, man, it looks like they're about trying to jump Waffles. What What the hell? It looks like Waffles just disappeared. He just, he just disappeared. What was that date? Is that, is that when revenge happened? 